your boy Veli. Two wise back with another video, and today we have the Hell Boy mixtape reaction in celebration of it being on all platforms, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dive the. Let's dive in. I am so ready to hear a peep project, y'all. Y'all have no idea how excited I am. I've just been biting my nails all fucking day for this. Alright, we're here on Spotify, and I'm ready to dive into this album, mixtape, whatever you want to call it. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's dive in. Can this be him? The one I have waited centuries to see? Can this be him? This hell boy. Epic guys, this is gonna be epic guys. The guitar sounds so fucking beautiful. You don't even know what I've been through, been through. You don't gotta let me bitch too, bitch too. Leave me to bleed, I'm gonna yeah. leave me to bleed. I know I got you on <laughs> your knees, but something keeps on. So this is obviously a sad song. He's he's talking about being alone pretty much this whole song. <sighs> it's so sad, but as I say as always, these songs are very sad, but goddamn this song is fucking beautiful. Holy shit. Starts off, you don't even think it's gonna be a second drop then. Ah! Oh! Then the improved vocals. Ah! Oh! This ah, oh, this is fucking amazing, bro. Oh my lord! How it started off with the fucking, it started off with like a little, I guess those are samples too, or the little intro, I don't know, with the woman talking about the Hellboy, that introduction was so fucking cold, and then this fucking beautiful song comes on, dude. This shit's gonna be stuck in my head the entire time I'm editing this. Oh my lord. Let's get on to the next song. <laughs> the next song is Drive By. Featuring Xavier Wolf. Two minutes, 55 seconds. Let's dive in. I've been getting some Xavier Wolf requests. If you guys want more Xavier Wolf, I'm going to need you guys to request songs. Let's go. It sounds rough. Woo! I love it already. That shit sounds so fucking raw, bro. You don't even know if it's a beat or not at first. And then you slowly hear the... Dude, this song... Ah, I knew it was going to be some disordered dope shit, dude. All fucking ready, bro. I'm a 
Alright, we're diving into OMFG. This is a certified good pricing. Wait, you guys know what it means if you hear that? I thought this was going to be... Makes you think that it's gonna be this melodic, sad ass fucking song. He's like, dude, fuck that. I don't care. I don't. Fuck that. I don't wanna mosh already, guys. I see Tracy like throughout this whole goddamn thing. I don't wanna mosh. Some of you guys just don't understand how fucking cold this shit is, bro. Like the beat, how melodic he was while screaming, literally fucking screaming. This guy was a fucking rock star. Holy shit, man. This guy was more than a rock star. He was like a pop rock rap star, bro. The song they played when I crashed into the wall Featuring Tracy Okay At the fucking beat, a hard, a way darker beat. It's like this fucking bass line that's fucking going up and down, like this, bro. It's fucking. These beats like have a story of their own, bro. Like this is a, a disordered masterpiece already, dude. And being an Earl Sweatshirt fan, a Tyler the Creator fan, I love disordered masterpieces the sorted art projects that that you can tell are made from scratch you feel me just fucking gritty art bro i love it so fucking much Ooh, that guitar sample right there Another one, call me hell boy, I got fire in my blood. Don't call me emo, don't call me Paul. I'm a vampire, bitch, I'm 
Oh man, I wish. Oh, before we get up to fucked up. Oh man, I wish it would have just dropped one more time right there. God, that song was so fucking good. I barely had anything to fucking say throughout it. Oh my lord. This is the song they play when I crash through the wall. I don't want to play songs over again as this is an album. I want to go straight down, bruh. Straight down every song. So, next is fucked up. Fucked up, yeah. Girl, you got me fucked up, yeah. So far, what I will say for the first four songs and probably this song too, all of these songs are sad songs, man. All of them are. And uh, a lot of them are saying that he's alone. And I don't know. I wish some of these were a little more uplifting. Just a little more. A little. Just a tiny more. But I love these samples. I When, when Peep gets sad, dude, those fucking guitars play like a motherfucker, dude. And I love it. I love the fucking guitars, bro. I can I can listen to any sample that this motherfucker puts on these fucking... Beats and just fucking mends the fucking guitar with the fucking bass. Oh, it's like a fucking rock star fucking paradise. Shit. So it seems like he's coming. He it seems like he's starting to realize like okay, fuck this motherfucker. Starting with the girl who's being fucked up. He's starting with her like, "Hey. Okay, I realized that okay, you're fucked up, so okay, I realized it." But for this beat, <laughs> I get talking about these beats all the time, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't expect it to drop that fast. This, uh, th this seems to happen with all these beats. And it seems to happen. Uh, it seems like this is the first time that's happened on this album. That a beat has dropped that fast like that. And been up tempo like that. Rip my shirt. Kiss my neck. Throw me on the floor. Girl, make me sweat. Scratch my back. Make me bleed. I can be whatever that you want me to be. I can do whatever that you want for me. Well, Peep is a lot like me in the bed. Just let her... No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I was going to say, Peep's a lot like me in the bed. He lets her do everything. No. No. I am a fucking gladiator. God damn it. You hear me? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, listen here. I drunk a little bit before this video, if you couldn't tell. If I, if I seem a little off... So he's saying he fucked up his chance and he hasn't been able to live with it, I guess. And that's the worst when you fuck up something with a girl and ain't much you can do about it to fix it. That's fucking worst.
that distortion. You hear that? The little. Sounds like. It seems like this is the part of the album where he's overcoming that heartbreak bullshit. Oh man, we're about to get lit, boys! It's about to get lit! <laughs> this shit was so fucking fire! It's like all these songs are fire for the exact same fucking reasons. Cocaine in your bitch brain. <laughs> oh my god bro when he just said that i can't lie bro that shit just gave me fucking chills down my fucking spine bro oh my god but it's like they took off the double vocal for when he said that dude I've been high since last Friday. Charlie Shuffler. His vocals carried this on a level that, dude, his vocal performance on this song was so fucking good, dude. So fucking good. At first, I, I didn't realize how fucking good it was. And then you heard that, I've been high since last Friday. And then you fucking hear how he's orchestrating the song and then it turns into almost an interlude oh dude and speaking of interlude that is our next song which is longer than this one so let's see how this is an interlude ah alright so I hear the and then I hear the one in the back. Bro, it's another guitar in the back doing a fucking rhythm too, bro. Oh, it sounds so fucking beautiful when they both join, dude. It's two guitars playing at once, guys. She just want me for the culture. Oh my lord, dude. You guys hear the fucking police? I got damn near looked out my fucking window. those guitars how they're low now oh my god dude with the two oh my god This is an immediate notice. He's talking how good this girl is treating him. Unlike some of the other girls that he was talking about prior in the beginning of the album. Oh, I cannot I cannot stress how happy that makes me feel to, to hopefully 
see that the end of this album is uplifting. Oh, I love this fucking song so far. I'm worlds away right now. Fucking drunk and high right now. Oh my lord, guys. Jesus. I love, I love. Dude, love songs when a love song is the guy saying how much she's amazing. How amazing she. No, no, no. When a love song is saying how much the other person is amazing without you, that is like a whole nother type of compliment. Like him saying like you damn near be better off without me, but shit, I love you. <laughs> Fuck. Like, like you can't blame him. Like that, that, that is the case sometimes. Like sometimes that is the fucking case. And sometimes it is healthy to let your other your other end know that I know that you don't need me. And I hope you know that I don't need you either, but that's why we're so strong together. She looks at me like she loved me. I want her all on my bed. I want her all on my bed, please. Guys, featuring Veli, bruh. Okay, next we have Red Drop. Shawty featuring Curb Lagoo. Let's get it, God. Charlie Shuffler. I got drugs in my coat. I put love in my coat. Everywhere I go, hoes want to give me dough. I got mud, I got blow. I get lonely on my own. Tell my plug in my phone. Ain't hey, your bitch, give me dough. Red Jar Cuz, baby, I don't give a fuck. Hell no. Nah. Y'all niggas want me to be a hundred and fucking fifty, nigga. I didn't understand that shit at all, my nigga. I tried, guys. I tried to understand it, my nigga. I fucking tried. I am a, I am a nigga that understands Cardi Nice. I hope this isn't fucking disrespectful, but I couldn't fucking understand it. Fuck. It sounded like motherfuckers was going crazy though. I'm sorry, guys. That I fucks. I, Charlie Shuffler. God. Ooh. Next we have girls. I actually saw that this has a video. I want to watch the video, but <laughs> he said, she think I'm a man. Girl, I'm guess a kid getting money like your dad. Girl. Dude, this nigga. <laughs> God damn. She said I'm a man. Girl, I'm still a kid getting money like your dad. Oh, girl. 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 See me 
God, there was like four of him right there. Next, we have Nose Ring, bruh. We have all of it planned out, baby girl. What the fuck is the plan now? We have all of it planned out, baby girl. Who the fuck is your man now? Hell, boy, baby, I stand out. Go to hell, boy, bitch, I got a bitch. Ah, this is. <laughs> He said, hell boy, the man now. Go to hell, boy. You going to hell now. Dude. <laughs> Dude, oh shit. You can tell we're going to we're getting to the end of the album. Now he's talking his shit. Do, 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 do. Oh my fucking god, I love those bass drops. So, we think too much. We are, we have already reacted to this song. So, I believe we think too much is on part three or two. I will have the link down in the description describing which ones. We have listened to already. If you guys want to see the reactions to We Think Too Much and Move On, Be Strong. The perfect outro, man. A song with Tracy. So let's listen to these last two songs and enjoy them together as we've made it to the fucking end. If you've made it this far with me, I need you guys to type an R.I.P. peep in the chat. My boys. And girls, let's do this. I did not expect that. Nice, <laughs> baby. I know it's cold outside, but to be honest, I really don't want to fucking let you in. <laughs> he went from like, why the fuck aren't we working? To okay, I don't. Please stop coming to my house, please. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> That's a clear comment on, you know, and he's saying she's never bled for him, probably as a metaphor, as in she's probably never done shit for him at all. So, sorry, I have this fucking white wine. Thinking about how you're with him. This one got me a little down. I can't lie. Even though he, he he's like past all of it, he's still like reminiscing on like I still kind of can't stop thinking about her being with this fucking new clown, which is entirely fucking relatable bro pride is a fuck man you guys have no clue until you go through it but we have our last fucking song guys walk away as the door slams featuring lil tracy now walk away as the door slam sounds like in hell of a fucking outro if you ask me <laughs> so 
Let's dive into this and vibe the fuck out. When I met your mom, she told me I was handsome. <laughs> oh my god, this nigga Tracy is fucking hilarious, bro. When, when I met your mom, she told me I was handsome. <laughs> starting to get a fucking headache because I've been banging my head for the last hour. Oh. What a fucking emotional somersault of a fuck uh, of a fucking album, bro. I'm sorry that my words aren't coming out the way that I want. I'm a little tipsy, been drinking throughout the album. Enjoying my time, just wallowing away, just loving this fucking thing, dude. This thing was everything that I imagined it to be. He balanced this thing out fucking terrifically, bruh. He started off with all the depressing stuff, and then around here is when he started realizing, okay, fuck that. And then by the time we get here is when it's like all the uplifting shit, and. It's kind of just sad to see him gone, you know. But honestly, this is celebration time. Fuck all the sad shit. Happy four-year anniversary. If I'm not mistaken, four-year anniversary to this project. Happy to see it on every single platform. And happy that I could finally give you guys a fucking reaction to this thing. Man. If you guys want a reaction to any other Lil Peep albums or Lil Tracy albums, please sing on that like button and let me know what the fuck is going on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It has been your boy Veli. Oh, yeah, the album's like a 9 out of 10, by the way. Two eyes. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>